guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here for a big announcement, chatty life update, and a little bit on how I sleep train my kiddos. All right guys, I took to Instagram and I asked you what kind of videos you wanted to see from me this week, and a chatty life update, and a video as to how I sleep train my kids. That was the most requested, so that is what you're getting today. Before we hop into today's video, I have a big announcement for you guys, and I am very, very excited to share with you. No, I'm not pregnant. I am starting a new series on this channel, and not just I, but we. Yes, my husband is teaming up with me on this series on my channel, and we are doing a home makeover DIY series. I'm really excited, especially for my friends and family. I get so many requests as to, or questions as to like where I get my stuff, how we make our things, how I coordinate, how I design, etc., etc. So I'm very excited to share all of those things with you guys coming up on my channel. Um, the very first video we will be sharing with you guys, this is a little bit of a sneak peek, um, we will be sharing a dining room makeover um, video with you guys. And a part of that video, we will be doing a DIY shiplap and I'll be showing you guys like where I get all of my decor items, a shop with me at Home Goods, and things like that, especially with the holidays coming up and fall coming up. I have a lot of really fun like shop with me videos and all of that, and it will all be a part of the home makeover series. So um, a few other videos that you guys can expect in that series are going to be, like I said, DIY shiplap, um, DIY subway tile backsplash, um, DIY palette wall, DIY media centers and tables and all sorts of really fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited. Again, this is a really big part of Mike and I's life. We have our side business, m, &M Rustics, where we make a lot of furniture pieces, farmhouse, farmhouse style furniture pieces. And I am very, very passionate about my interior design. I'm very picky, I'm very meticulous. So again, really excited to finally launch that series on my channel for you guys and share with you exactly where I get my stuff and how I make it and how I design it. So, so hopping into the second portion of this video, so the chatty life update and the sleep training. I've been super bit busy this summer. Riker has started solid foods, he's teething, Kaya's busier than ever. We're, we're amping up for the fall. In the fall we do swimming lessons for Kaya, so Kaya will be signed up for swimming lessons and we just like to hunker down a little bit more and um, not be on the go as much as we are in the summer. So with that being said, my uploading schedule will be back on track after this crazy summer settles down. So expect at the end of August for my videos to get back into a normal routine. So my Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday uploading, uploading schedule, um, that will come back at the end of August and I will be doing Vlogmas this year, so I will upload a video every single day for the first 25 days of December. Lots of really fun stuff coming up. So anyways, that's what's been going on. Right now we've just been really in and out and crazy summer schedules. We're gone almost every weekend and it makes it hard for me to get my videos done because as you guys know, I'm a full-time working mom and I usually take the weekends to record and get things done and I just haven't had my weekends to do that this summer. So. There we go. Third part of this video, sleep training. All right, so our sleep training, this is super highly requested as to how I get my kids to sleep through the night, starting from a young age. I've mentioned this before in several other videos for you guys, like in my newborn videos, etc. cetera. Um, but the first things first is I like to get my kiddos on a normal, um, a normal like circadian rhythm, so I, We'll keep them awake for the first like week or two. I just kind of let my babies do their thing and try to adjust on their own naturally. Um, you're just trying to figure out breastfeeding and getting to know your baby during that time. So I don't like to set a really routine schedule until I hit about week three, um, week two to three right in there. And so with both Riker and Kaya, what I've done is I've kept them awake a little bit more during the day um, to try and um, like, in, like just try to introduce them to a better sleep schedule and more natural sleep schedule, uh, something that matches with our schedules. So we'll keep Riker awake. Um, we would keep him awake during the day, so I'd feed him, and then I would kind of keep him, like I would tickle his feet, and I would play with him a little bit, and um, the older and older he got, the better it got. So we stuck to one long nap in the morning, one long nap in the afternoon, 
and then we would introduce his bedtime routine. We do baths every other night, but every night we kind of do that same, you know, change his bum, and then we swaddle him, or change his bum, put his jammies on, swaddle him, I'll feed him, um, and then I'll put him down for bed. Now that he's a little bit older and that he's having um, more solid foods, like baby food and things like that, he'll usually eat and then have a couple of ounces after dinner, like two to four ounces, sometimes six if he's really starving. Um, and then I will lay him down in his Zen swaddle sack. So moving on to swaddles, um, I feel like that is such a huge part um, of why my baby sleeps so long. So like I said, ever since Riker was just a teeny, teeny tiny little baby, we would swaddle him. We had these little swaddle sacks that swaddled him up nice and tight. Um, and then when he was a few months old, we introduced him to the um, to the Zen Swaddle, the Zen Sleep Swaddle by Nested Bean. I'll have those linked down below for you guys. You have heard me talk about them before, and I am such an advocate for their swaddles. They have like a little weighted piece on the chest, and they work like a dream. Um, now that Riker is older, he is now in the sleep sack, so it just buttons over the shoulders. I'll have a video linked up here for you guys. Um, that kind of shows what that routine looks like. It was in my evening routine video, um, but those just button over his shoulders, still has that weighted piece, and then it zips up the side. Uh, very, very helpful to keep your baby feeling secure and like they just have like a mother's touch on them. Um, that's kind of what that swaddle, that swaddling um, does for them too. It kind of gives them that sensation they're still in the womb. And then once they can have their arms out, they still have that weighted piece just to help them feel secure. Um, so that is a very big part of sleep training for my kiddos is the schedule and swaddling. And then when we would do nighttime feedings, which in the beginning I would say he was probably waking up twice a night. By one month he was waking up maybe once a night. Um, and that continued until he was about four months old. And then by the time he hit four months old, he was sleeping through the night completely. And what I consider sleeping through the night, so I put him down between eight and nine every single night. It's a, our routine right in between that hour, that's our bedtime hour. We'll put him down and um, we'll lay him down when he's still awake. And we've been doing that as well since he was just a teeny, teeny tiny little guy. We would lay him down awake and um, that teaches them to soothe themselves and to develop good sleep habits because if they don't know how to put themselves to sleep and they can't soothe themselves then it becomes an issue and then they wake and when they wake up in the middle of the night um, they can't put themselves back to sleep they have to have a bottle or they have to be held or they need to be rocked and as much as i love to rock my baby sometimes at three in the morning i'm just tired i'm just super tired so now like i said between eight and nine he'll fall asleep and then he won't wake up until i wake him up at about seven in the morning um i don't know if we've really gone through that four month sleep regression maybe a little bit um he was waking up like once a night versus sleeping through the night um but he's so good at, at self-soothing now. He is a thumb sucker, um, so he likes to, <laughs> we, we try not to put him down with a blanket, and if we put him down with a blanket, we take it off after he falls asleep. Um, but he'll kind of, he'll try to like pull his sleep sack up from his feet, so he'll curl his feet to his face, and like try to pull the sleep sack up and like suck on his thumb, because he just, he loves to have a blankie right here and suck on his thumb, soothe himself back to sleep. So um, just actually in the past two weeks, two weeks ago, we did transition both of our kids into their own room. Kaya will be for this September, so we decided it was time for her to transition into her own room. And since we didn't do so prior to having Riker, we figured the best time to do it is when we transitioned him into his own room because then she wouldn't feel like she's alone. It would have it's just that, that comfort factor. Um, she's very much so a mama's girl. It just likes to be, she likes to be next to me. She would like sleep on my back when she was in our bed. So two weeks ago, uh, Riker went down like a dream because it, it didn't matter to him. We were putting him down in his bassinet next to our side of the bed um, and he kind of was outgrowing the, his halo bassinet, which is why we decided to transition him to his crib. Um, it was literally like a last minute decision one night. I just said, you know what? I'm gonna have the kids sleep in their own room. We're gonna start tonight. That's it. So Riker, a dream. He just was, he was just fine going into his own crib in his own room. It's right next to our room. So, um, and then I do have the monitor next to my side of the bed for my own like comfort, but 
With kayak, kayak was a little bit more difficult. Um, I don't know if any of you mamas out there have kiddos who are still sleeping in your bed. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of you, but um, Kaya, she was sleeping in her own um, bed for the longest time um, in our room. And then when we moved into our house um, a couple years ago, she was just, I don't know what, what it was, if it was the new house, the new transition, but she all of a sudden she would get really scared in the middle of the night, started sleeping with us. Well, that continued until now, and she's almost four, and we just, ugh, it was really difficult to break that habit. And I think now, two weeks later, we've finally broken the habit. She, what I like to do at night is I will get her jammies on, and then I will read her a book, and then she can either watch a show, she likes to watch Barbie, um, so she'll either watch a show in her room, um, or she will watch her iPad. And we'll just typically let her watch a show until she falls asleep. We're very much so those those people too, like my husband and I will fall asleep to like Blue Planet. And that's another thing we'll have her fall asleep to is like Blue Planet, Planet Earth, something really calming. Um, it works like a charm, you guys. I like to put, so you put Blue Planet on, put the sleep timer on for like 30 minutes, and then she's out. The first, I would say the first week was really tough. Um, she was still waking up in the middle of the night, trying to come into our room. Um, I had to put a gate up in the hallway so that she wouldn't, so that she wouldn't try going downstairs and like sneak off, because that's just how she is. She'll like sneak off and like try to do her own thing or go play in the middle of the night. Um, but once we got over that hump, I think it was at about a week and a half um, is when I noticed that she was solid, staying in her room, sleeping through the night. She was comfortable going, like last night, it, so we hit two weeks tomorrow. And last night was the first night that I really noticed that she like just like stayed in bed. Um, I didn't have to lay with her. And most of the other nights I had to lay with her to get her to fall asleep. Last night she did really good. So she's more, she, I feel like she's getting used to it now and it's more of a schedule, it's more of a routine for her. Um, so hang in there, mamas. If you are struggling with it, just stay, stay consistent. Even if they're crying and screaming, just keep putting them back in the bed. And I think one friend of mine said she put her kid back into his bed like 50 times one night. It was, it, it's, it's just, it's a really hard, thing to do to get your kids to sleep in their own room. It's a hard thing to teach, but once they've learned it, once they know how to put themselves to sleep and how to soothe themselves if they do wake up, it just gives everybody a much better night's sleep. And yes, the first, like, I would say the first few nights were really hard, like personally for me, because I just felt like I had an empty nest. My daughter usually slept like right next to me, and then I had Riker in the bassinet on the other side of me. And I don't have any of that anymore. And I, as much as I miss it, it's a huge relief because it is super difficult to get it started. So anyways, all right guys. I hope that helps you guys with baby sleep routines. I hope that, I hope that helps you guys um, to help sleep train your baby or your toddler, whatever it may be. Just stay consistent, keep the same schedule. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for me today. I hope that those tips help you somewhat. Um, I just stayed consistent, and when I decided that this was the routine that we were gonna do, I stuck to it. Kids tend to do better in routines. They like to know what's coming next, and that's why I feel they tantrum and they have a hard time transitioning into their own room. Not necessarily like Riker when like they're at that age because I mean they don't know what's what but when it comes to sleep training your toddler in their own room and they've become accustomed to a certain routine, when you change that routine it kind of throws off their entire schedule, it throws off their life. So which might seem a little bit over dramatic but that's why the tantrums happen is because they don't know what's coming. They don't, they don't know what it's like to sleep in their own room but once they get to know it and it's comfortable to them, um, I feel like it just goes a lot smoother and they know what to expect. So, like I said, two weeks in and we're doing really good. So, all right guys, well I'm very excited to bring you that new series on my channel. Be sure that you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. And then leave a comment down below and say hi. I promised you guys I was gonna do a shout out today. Um, on my last video. So let's pull up my video from Thursday. I'm super active in my comments for the first couple hours of it uploading. So if you guys ever want to say, hey, that's when I'm most active is the first couple hours of upload. Um, one of my um, 
One of the main gals that started with me here on this channel, Alyssa, Alyssa Cassette. Um, she comments on all of my videos. She's so sweet, so hi Alyssa. Um, and then there are a couple of other people, Brooks Beauty Room, um, I've got Mommy and Gray on here, and Humble Daughter. Just a shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me through this journey. I'm very close to 10,000, so if you guys love my videos, be sure to share it on your social medias. If you love my videos, I would love that. I'd be so appreciative. I am, again, very excited to share with you all of the fun future things coming up. So, anyway. All right, guys, I will see you on Thursday for another really fun video. Okay, bye, guys. Who am I to say we tried our best? Who am I to say we kept ignoring all our promises?